Welcome to the Bull and Bush in Shep Shed. Four local darts players are attempting a Guinness Book of World Records, uh, which will start on Wednesday morning at nine o'clock and hopefully run through till approximately nine o'clock Friday night. It's a 60 hour challenge and they're hoping to beat the current record, which is based at 51 hours uh, and one minute, I think it is. Um, the four guys have got to continuously play. Um, that was the hockey and the, uh, the dartboard they'll be playing on. But tonight what they're doing is the setting the nine dart challenge. The guys are having a quick warm up. Um, you can see the four of them in their nice new shirts. Um, you've got Kev Bryant and Nez Holt um, who are in the black and silver shirts. They're the pair versus Dave Sloan and Bradley Cave. Um, they will be playing non-stop. I think the rules are you play an hour, you actually be able to save five minutes for break time. Uh, but like I say, this is the Nine Dark Challenge, which is going to be going on throughout Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for anybody local to come down and actually have a go at uh, throwing Nine Darts. Your total score will actually uh, be added up and whoever gets the highest score uh, is the winner. Um, besides this, there is plenty of raffles, etc. You can come down and just support the guys while they're doing it. Um, you know, the, this is going to four good charities. Uh, the, you've got the Macmillan Cancer, you've got the Shepshed Food Bank, and you've got the Shepshed Lions First Responders, as well as the Jakin uh, charity. Um, so please come down and give your support um, with the, this, the way they do the record is um, basically has to be vetted with witnesses and stewards etc the board and everything has all been measured by affiliated uh, guy from the local league um, but as you see Kev's just doing his uh, nine darts I think Phil in the corner there is actually uh, recording these bit of pressure for the for the guys um, two of the guys Kev including and Nez uh, a few years ago actually did the singles uh, world record um, for they, they 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 targeted 60 hours and they actually achieved 58 hours and I think 48 minutes um, just bear with the video at the moment um, we're just testing everything um, but come down um, we'll be live streaming on YouTube um, throughout the event um, so you can find us on uh, and we'll be posting the links on Facebook um, we have a web page for it under the uh, world record attempt um, but yeah it's uh, going to be a great event um, lots to do I think uh, there'll be a lot of people down here etc um, I think there's plenty for the kids to do as well it looks like Bradley's now ready to do his nine darts I think Kev's just got 196 with his first nine darts. All the players have had major sponsors, um, which are on the shirts, um, and also obviously the dartboard uh, and surround, etc., has all been donated by Women's. Um, very nice uh, new Blade 6 um, and a nice red surround, which you'll see, which is in the pub. This bottom corner of the screen, you'll see uh, a lot of the charities flicking through on the screen who have supported a lot of local companies, etc. Obviously, this is the outdoor freestanding board, which has just been set up for this event. It looks like Nez now is uh, going to be doing his nine darts. Nez is the actual uh, landlord of the of the Bull and Bush in Shep Shed, which uh, has a number of darts teams in the local leagues. Um, all the stewards and uh, the witnesses, etc., have all put their names down. Uh, the stewards themselves have to be uh, affiliated darts players in the local league. I think this is Nezzy's last three darts. I 
I think he gets 143. Brad got 89. And then this is Dave Sloan. They've all got nicknames you'll see on their shirts. I think they're, they're, they're hoping, I think last year they raised, I think about oh, around £7,000 or something, um, which was split between uh, two charities. Um, this year the target is um, hopefully £10,000. I can't remember what Dave actually got, but it was, wasn't a great score for Dave, which is a bit of a shock. But yeah, um, entertaining night for or will be for uh, the public to come down and watch. Um, it'll be a lot of agony for the four guys here who have got to stay up for the next 60 hours starting tomorrow morning. Um, but come down and give your support.